to all successful people always asking, what do I really want? What's the outcome I'm committed to achieve? So step one of the ultimate successful is you got to know your outcome. Because people that are not successful, what do you think they focus on? what they don't want in their future. Yeah, failure. And when you think about failure in your future, how does that make you feel, good or bad? Which one? And then what do you do when you're feeling bad? Three things. You either ignore it, you complain about it, or you escape from it, okay? So you gotta know your outcome. Number two, number two is you gotta know your big what? Why? Three, but if you know what you want, why you want it, are you gonna achieve your goals every single time, yes or no? No, because there's counter thoughts. How many of you had this thought when you set a goal, what if it doesn't work? Raise your hand if you ever had that thought. What if I fail? Can I really do this? By the way, when you think those thoughts, how does that make you feel? Powerful or less powerful? Less powerful. So we have counter thoughts, which we call limiting belief. So limiting belief, we have to change those limiting belief into what? What do we need to change them into? Yeah, empowering belief. But if you know what you want, why you want it, and you actually believe you can do it, let's say you did that, are you always going to achieve your goal, yes or no? Yes or no? No, not always. That's why people go to the secret, and what they do is they learn the law of attraction, they think positive thoughts, and they take action, and they get results. But why do some people learn the secret, learn the law of attraction, they try to think positive, and then they don't? The answer is because they didn't have a proven what? They didn't have a proven strategy, okay? I'm, you have to have an effective strategy. You can't just hope. You gotta know exactly what to do. But here's the problem. Most people, when they set goals, the first thing they, the first question they ask, how do I get that done? How do I achieve that? Isn't it true? And what if your brain doesn't know because you've never done it before? Then what? You don't find an answer and then you lose your confidence. Who's experienced this before? Now, that's why in the beginning, never focus on how. It doesn't freaking matter. How is not important. But even if you know what you want, why you want it, and you have empowering beliefs, and you have a proven strategy, are you always gonna achieve your goals, yes or no? No! And what kind of action do we need to take? No, massive, intelligent action. Because let me ask you this, do you guys know people who work really hard? they're not successful so but let's say you know your outcome you know why you change your belief you have a strategy you take action two things can happen what can happen you get success or what yeah failure right now if you have failure you only have three choice write them down either number one you quit now why do people quit take a guess they lose confidence what else but isn't it true that everything is connected back to your state? The reason people quit, you see, is they have a negative emotion. I mean, who likes to fail? Does anybody here like to fail? Okay. But what if I told you right now, failure is a prerequisite to success and you don't like it. Winners decide to win when? When did they decide? No, at outcome. Later, you never decide you're gonna do whatever it takes. You wait until you get failure and then you feel bad and you quit. What if I offer you an alternative and say from this moment on, be like her. What does she do? She never sets a goal without going all the way. Whatever it takes. No surrender, no retreats. Whatever it takes. What if you did that? What would happen to your life? Would you win more often, yes or no? Why bother setting goals if you're not gonna do that? And I did that mistake so many times. I set goals and I, I didn't achieve them. And every time you don't achieve a goal, your brain has to think, why? And a lot of times I would say, because I'm not good enough. I'm not good at communication. I'm not good with people. I'm not, I don't know, I'm just not confident enough. And we'll come up with bullshit reasons because your brain has to come up with a cause. Everybody here came here because you want to be successful, not part of the time, every time. What if I could give you the strategy proven 100% strategy that you're gonna achieve your goals every time. But here's the thing, you gotta decide I'm going to win. Every time you set a goal, tell yourself, I will do whatever it takes, I will not give up. If you did that, what would happen? Would you achieve your goals, yes or no? Every time? Yes! I want you to realize something important that's not been said yet in the last two days. Success is not achieve out there, achieve it here. Own it. You have to own your goal. Don't give thanks. For your goal later, give thanks for it now. When you decide, I am a winner, I will do whatever it takes, no surrender, no retreat, whatever it takes, you've already won. How does that feel? When you get the feeling of success, when you set a goal as if it's already achieved and you own that feeling, that's the game. That's how success is done.